now International Line of Judah Conference's PMC Chair from the Jewish Federation of Greater Metro West, Jane Wilf. Over the years, I've had the privilege of holding a variety of leadership positions, both nationally and in my home community. Most recently serving as the chair of our recent Greater Metro West Community Mission, during which we pinned 52 new lions. <laughs> Through all of these opportunities, much of, much of which I have learned about leadership, I have learned from my husband, Mark Wilf the current chair of the board of JFNA. For Mark, leadership is a calling, a responsibility, and an honor. No matter how busy he is, he always makes time for the Jewish community, and in particular, the Federation movement. He deeply believes that our system is the best position to improve the lives of Jews around the world. Mark is the child of Holocaust survivors, my in-laws, the late Joseph Wilf of blessed memory and Elizabeth Wilf. Mark's family survival is truly a miracle. He teaches our entire family that we should not take our good fortune for granted. He is truly committed to giving back with a special emphasis on preserving the memory of the Holocaust, taking care of the survivors and safeguarding the vulnerable amongst us. In addition to his longtime commitment with Yad Vashem and Yeshiva University, Mark is the past chair of the National Young Leadership Cabinet, a past National UJA campaign chair, and a past president of our local community. He recently chaired the national initiative that raised $45 million to care for our survivors in need. Mark is a humble, hands-on activist and leader. With every leadership role he holds, he, engage those, he engages those around him and ensures that he has all the necessary information to make a strategic and thoughtful decision. He is also the fastest responder to email I know. <laughs> Mark is a mentor and role model to mainly, most importantly, our four children, Stephen, Daniel, Rachel, and Andrew, and to me. We are always proud of him, but in particularly so as he assumes the role at JFNA at a critical moment for the Jewish people. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the chair of the board of the Jewish Federations of North America, my husband, Mark Wilf. Thank you, Jane. And a quick shout out to my home community of Greater Metro West, New Jersey. Thank you for inviting me today, for your warm welcome, and most of all, thank you, Lions of Judah, for everything you do every single day to lead our Jewish Federation movement in the unrestricted annual campaign and in so many other ways. With your generosity, spirit, and powerful commitment to the Jewish people, you are a testament to what can happen when we work together towards a shared goal, and we all need to learn from your example. The truth is, empowered women don't only empower women, you empower everyone in our community. I'm living proof of it. The women in my life have shaped the individual that I've become, and they continue to influence the person that I strive to be. As Jane just said, my parents and grandparents were all Holocaust survivors. My Babu Miriam, yes, I'm a grandson of Miriam. <laughs> my mother's mother uh, escaped the Lvov ghetto in Poland with Christian papers and lived as a Polish farm worker with her husband, my grandfather, hidden under the floorboards of a barn for two years. In Nazi-occupied Poland, they were never, ever safe. Seven of her brothers and sisters had already perished. She led two very young children, my mother and my uncle, out of the ghetto by the hand. Out of the 180,000 Jews in Lvov, Poland, they were among the few that survived. 
She and my parents are role models not simply because they survived, but because they became American citizens and they came to America and they rebuilt. Focused on family, Jewish community, and love of Eretz Yisrael, they never stopped helping others in need. My grandmother lived to 98, thank God. There wasn't a single night she could stop thinking about the past, but she also was able to dream about the future. And it was thanks to her determination and sheer force of will that I stand here today at all. But her goal was simply not that to endure, it is that we learn the lesson of her experience in order to build and sustain a better future for the Jewish people. This lesson was passed down to me, and I'm privileged to carry on the tradition with my wife, Jane, a fabulous leader of the Jewish community, whom I can never thank enough for how she's influenced my life and, of course, the lives of our four children and extended family. I'm often asked what can each of us do to truly have impact in the world, especially by young people who sometimes feel they don't have a place at the communal table. This is a critical question for us to be able to answer with conviction and to implement without delay. I think about my own path and what led me here. It's because of everything I learned from my parents, grandparents, and impactful experience, such as Young Leadership Cabinet, that I assumed positions of leadership in the Jewish community. I was taught to give back of my time and of my resources. Many young people today may not relate to this path, and that's okay, but the truth is all people search for meaning and community, especially young people. Here's another truth. The data on millennials is good news for Jewish federations. Statistics show that millennials are extremely generous authentic, and they, they want to be engaged on an emotional and behavioral level with work and community. That is what we do. It's our job, all of us, to ensure that they find what they're seeking within our communal agenda with a strong and realistic connection to Israel as part of its central core. And the only way to accomplish this is to make it a focused mission of our work today and ensure a robust outcome with measurable goals. All of us must play our part in bringing this about, and you, my partners, need to be the forefront, as you are, and continue to be, of ensuring that we do this with excellence. There's no entity as effective, as far-reaching, or as well-prepared to take us into the future as Federation is. Working together, the Federation movement is an unstoppable force for good in the world and in the Jewish world. I could speak about the founding of the State of Israel, the path of Soviet Jewry and Operation Exodus, Ethiopian Jewry and Operation Solomon, all the great missions and massive enterprises in which Federation changed the course of history. But there's also a powerful future ahead of us, and each one of us plays an essential role in bringing that about. Perhaps more than anyone else, you know what it means to come together when tragedy strikes. I will never forget the total embrace offered by our movement in Pittsburgh, in Houston, in Los Angeles, as well as in Israel and all over the world. It may not be an exclusively Jewish principle, but it's intrinsically Jewish principle to rush to help when help is needed. But the Federation movement is also a powerful agent for advancing our fondest dreams for the Jewish community. It is a power that we have not fully exercised and I am making it a core mission of mine to refocus our efforts as a federation system on what we can accomplish when we all work together. It's time to come together like never before. As the women in my life have taught me, we make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. And that's a lesson that all of you continuously exemplify. You help whenever or wherever there's a need, and you give a, with a sense of joy and completeness. My wife, Jane, and I want our four children to grow up in a vibrant, caring Jewish world that brings joy and meaning to their lives. That was my Babu Miriam's fondest dream, and that's what Federation and Lions of Judah do. My Babu would be so proud of you and of me for recognizing you. Thank you for your inspired support and leadership. 
Am Yisrael Chai.